In this demo, you'll learn how to pass input arguments to and get output arguments from a call workflow. First, we need to create a workflow that accepts input arguments. Let's call this workflow Get Host Name. Let's add a run shell task to this workflow. In the code field of the script tab, enter a simple host name command with the input argument macro as shown in the demo. Once you're done, save the task. Next, we need to add arguments to this workflow. On the Arguments tab, in the In Parameters table, create an In Parameter called Option. Provide a label for this input parameter. You can choose whether the workflow should retrieve the fully qualified domain name, or FQDN, or short name of the host. For this, in the Type column, select List. Select the checkbox in the Required column to make this a mandatory user input. Then in the Values column, enter F to retrieve the FQDN, and S to retrieve the short name of the host. To display these values as a list in the output, separate the values with a comma. In the Out parameter table, enter a name for the field in which the name of the host will display. Add a macro in the Value column to display the output based on the parameter that the user selects. For any clarifications that you might require about macros, feel free to visit the Epsilon FAQs anytime and scroll to the page on macros. Here you will get complete information about the macro that you intend to use. In this case, copy the macro syntax into the value column and enter the name of the task in it. Click Save and Run. When the task runs, select the machine and its credential of which you want to see its host name. In this run, let's select F to view the FQDN of the host. Click Start. The Output tab displays the full name, that is, the FQDN of the host. The Properties tab displays the runtime values of the output parameters that you set while creating this workflow. Likewise, run the workflow again and select S this time. The Output tab displays the short name of the host. We shall now write another workflow, which calls this workflow and gets input arguments dynamically from the previous workflow. Create a call workflow task in the new workflow. Click Choose Workflow to select the workflow that we created earlier in this demo. The input parameters that were created earlier in the Get Host Name workflow display. Even the return value, which is the host name that was set in the earlier workflow, displays in the Out Parameters table. Do not forget to give this task a name. You need to add a parameter value for the input arguments. To do this, in the Value column, Add a macro that will pass a parameter value for this input argument. In the Property column of the Out Parameters table, enter Host. When this task is run, the return value will be saved in this property. Click Create and Return to Workflow. Next, we need to add an input task to this workflow, which at runtime will prompt the user to choose one of the two values, FQDN of the host or short name. 
An input task supports various types of input from the user. This includes text, password, checkbox, and select. You can find additional information about input tasks on the Epsilon FAQ. In this case, we will use select because the user needs to select one of the two hostname outputs. You can use the Epsilon script syntax provided on the FAQ page and modify it to suit your workflow's requirements. In the code field, enter the syntax that you copied from the FAQ and update it as shown in the demo. Once you are done, save the workflow and then click Create and Return to Workflow. We need to add a run shell task that will display the return values at runtime. Ensure that you use Epsilon script for your code. Enter the code as shown in the demo to display the value of the output parameter. Click Save, and then click Create and Return to Workflow. Now run the workflow. At runtime, select the machine and its credentials and click Start. The input task prompts the user to select an option to display the host name. Select F to view the full name of the host. The output tab displays the FQDN of the host. You can view its properties on the Properties tab. You can run the workflow once again and select S this time to view the short name of the host. The Output tab displays only the short name of the host this time. The Input parameters and the Return values display on the Properties tab. In this demonstration, you have learned how to pass arguments using the input task and to dynamically pass arguments to a call workflow.